Hi guys, for this week's video, we'll, uh, we're doing a Riverdale video. I did a poll on my Instagram like two weeks ago, and most of you wanted like this type of video. Um, we'll be reacting to the season 3 episode 8 mid-season finale, yeah, um, promo thing. And I'll be reading like people's con theories on this episode of what they think of the season so far, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to end this because I can't switch my camera thing. So I'm going to end this one and then do that. So yeah, enjoy. So I'll put, no, 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 no. Hi guys, I'm back, obviously. Um, we just watched the promo for the mid-season finale, season three, episode eight. So I'm going to read people's like theories on what's going to happen next and stuff like that. So this is from Common Sense. Is He said or she said that my theory on what's happening is that Harim Lodge is the producer of Fizzle Rocks. The drug courses who knew... This is how you spell it, so H-A-L-L-U-C-I-N-A-T-I-O-N-S. I can't pronounce that because I'm dyslexic, just to let you know. And weaknesses, will power. that doesn't make sense, but the person wrote this, so I don't know. He forces the abandoned village people to create it in some factory. So yeah, in the last episode, there was like hardly no men on this land or farm or whatever it was um sorry if this is kind of be a spoiler if you haven't seen episode seven so just warning you and yeah there was like no men it's only girls women that's about it not really many people on this thing so i never know um what was i oh, yeah meanwhile he's working with claudius and penelope and they are tainting their maple syrup with the drug yeah so take tea is like poisoning or putting stuff in it yeah um the tainted maple so is causing the mass seizures yeah a lot of people are having seizures this season first it was betty no first it was ethel and betty then betty again but she was faking it in this episode which is kind of smart first so just saying and it's gonna be as you saw in the promo it was the cheerleaders so yeah um so yeah they are they are also testing out the they are also testing out the drug on the inmates of of Sisters of Quiet Mercy because the drug has the side effect of seizures. So it's not perfect yet. The Gargoyle King is probably Edgar from the farm who is somehow working with Hyrule. Yeah, we haven't met this guy from the farm yet. We haven't met him, we don't know what he looks like. He's probably the Gargoyle King, he's probably working with Hyrule. You never know. But some people are saying that from Sabrina, the Dark Lord and the Gargoyle King are the same person. They might be a Cressa, they might not be here for Leave a Riddle. Can you do that for us? Thanks. Um Oh yeah, so this is from Denko. Can't pronounce that. And he says oh is she I remember that Roberto, the creator of Riverdale, said that in season three episode nine is huge but not for all series regulars are they king of some lead next week or he's just trying he's just trying he's not gonna kill off a lead hopefully not you never know with this show because it surprises me um this is from sinisters six and um, this she says yeah, so nobody is thinking Hiram Lodge. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I thought you said H M like Hiram Lodge, but it's hmm, like that. Where is Betty? Like it or not, Veronica or Kevin? He like, hello, she does everything to help everyone. And nobody's even knows she's missing. That's true. Nobody's even knows she's missing. I think nobody cares because they're just worrying about themselves, to be honest. Um, here's another one from. 
Carmen Stephens. I am only the one that's super annoyed because Betty always figures the puzzle out. She's always here to help her friends consistently. As and as Jughead put it, she stopped a serial killer while Archie landed himself in jail, and literally everyone forgot about her. That's true. That is so true. Good one. That is so true. Um. Oh yeah, how come these sieges? This is from F. Edits. How come these sieges only happen to females of Riverdale and not any of the guys? That's true. We haven't seen any guys have these sieges. It's only the girls. Cause oh yeah, Josie as well. Sorry, I forgot about her. To be honest. <laughs> um. Oh, people can't keep up. <laughs> I want Jelly Bean to be Dylan, even though I know Jelly Bean is a girl. Who's Dylan? Sorry, Scarlet P. <laughs> oh yeah, this is from Spoiled Milk. That's what the name is. I'm not even kidding me. Pull the the lightnings. <gasps> Let me see. No! Hold on. Let me just. Yeah, spoiled milk. It's obviously going to be the right way when I. Yeah. Um, he, that person said, I love how Tony returns from falling off the face of the earth just to have it, having a seat job. So true. Also, we need more Tony, more the lesbian couple. Just say, we've seen Kevin and Moose let the lesbian couple do the thing, you know what I'm saying? More Tony, please. That's what I'm. Ooh. Okay, this is from Nazari Adam. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. This person says, I get that this is fictional, so I don't have to take it seriously, but our best friend Betty is missing and not in school. And Veronica and Kevin are pretty obvious, oblivious to it. V is out here cheerleading and Kevin is MIA always. What kind of friendship is this? This is bad writing. It's not how friendship works. IRL. That's true thesis. <laughs> That's true tea. I love that. That is so true though. Where is everyone? <laughs> Why they're not in school? Why they're not doing the exams? Like the SOTs, whatever they're called. Like, hello? Um... Yeah, there's a lot of things about Ethel in the last episode. And people are creating memes and stuff like that. It's very funny on Instagram. <laughs> it's so funny. So this is from Bubble Cakes. Oh, I like that name. Quite nice. Seeing Ethel cry felt good, especially because she thinks that she and Jughead will end up together. That's so true. Oh, there's more. Um, edit. This is what the person said. Sorry. Sorry if you feel creeped out or uncomfortable because of what I said. This is what the person said, sorry. I just really don't like her because of everything she did to Betty and other characters. And honestly, and on, and I honestly just think that it's, that it's funny to, that it's funny that she thinks she will end up with Jughead because I doubt that will happen. That's so true. That won't happen, honey. You, she she's gone because the sister acquired but she, she gone, honey. She gone. She needs to stay in that place. Bye bye bye. Uh, I. <laughs> Sorry, old reference there. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying all the all, just all the girls are having seizures. None of the boys. We need more, yeah, people, we're getting training scenes, but not that much. We need more of them in this season, especially, because we only put this on, like, the core four, as people call them. So that's, you know who the core four is, right? So I'm going to tell you anyway. So it's Archie, Veronica, Betty, and Jughead. That's all they care about. They don't care about Kevin, Josie, Reggie, um, Cheryl, Tony, Jug um, Fangs, um, 
sweet pea you know what I mean <clears throat> this is from sad with a question mark Jughead taking Archie to meet parents we love a gay couple <laughs> oh yeah cause they're meeting yeah 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 I see what you mean <laughs> cause of jelly bean and yeah um There's tons of comments under this. Oh my days. Tons of. Oh, this is from some current Emily Gracia. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. <clears throat> she said that season one murder mystery is so spoiled plot with good characters with interesting topics such as poverty and how we deal with legacy of our parents season two overall the mystery about the darkness inside of us and inside the ones that around us overall not as good as some of the stories don't have such a solid conclusion overall still watchable still a decent effort season three what's going on that's so true what is going on there's this supernatural stuff a lot of people don't like it at the moment because the supernatural stuff. Um, I think it's quite good, but I think because of the supernatural thing, they need to bring um, Sabrina into it. That's my opinion. Because like, if this, if the Dark Lord and the Girl Volcano are connected, like, why would you bring Sabrina into this, to into Riverdale? Because um, also, I saw on this YouTube channel it's called Entertainment something. And there's this woman who does like the weekly episodes and analysis and she does hisses and kisses and stuff like that. I'll make sure to link the thing down below and watch it, but it's really, really good. And like, um, she's, who was it? I think it was, yeah, she said to the, to Lily Ryan, who plays Betty, she said that in the comics that Betty and Veronica are witches. So, you know. Oh god, why is my phone like that? No! Ah, uh, there we go. Oh my god. So there's a lot of things here. Uh, this is from LP Squad five days ago. It was the show, yeah. What is happening to the show? I'm so confused. Um, and if something doesn't happen where Betty can get out of the sisters, I'm going to be pee off sorry i just had to rant yeah i can't really swear in this so i'm just gonna say pee off i don't want to get demonetized so there's that <laughs> um who else is disappointed that nev cam naive n-e-v-e -E campbell isn't jughead's mom who's that such a I don't know who that is. Laptop. What? Sorry. My laptop so so sometimes. Uh. So for next week, what's next week? Oh yeah, I won't be doing a video on Christmas Day because that's a Tuesday. Just saying, but I will do like what I would like. What I did get for Christmas video the day after and then post it if you want me to do that why is this taking so long i got too many things open that's why my computer is oh. okay nine campbell oh no who's that oh she's pretty Man, she could be Jughead's dad. I mean, mum. Sorry, my brain just went. Look, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, clutching a picture because I can't turn this. So, yeah. She's pretty. She could be Jughead's mum. The other one doesn't look like Jughead. And the girl who plays Jelly Bean, not being rude or anything, but she doesn't look like the siblings or anything like that. Um, there's loads more, so if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment down below, 
um, next week's video, I think I'll be doing like Christmas stuff, so like wrapping presents, doing my video, stuff like that, talking, talking about life, stuff like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, the TV promo that I saw, the promo, is from TV Promos. Shout them out in this video. Gonna leave their stuff down below because I get copyright. Anyway, so yeah, bye, love you all. See you next week. And um, bye.